Hey everyone, welcome again to my channel. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to create your very own color palette or swatch in Affinity Publisher so you can have a cohesive theme to your document. So before we start, if you're new here, welcome and please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any videos like this. And of course, I'm always grateful to all my current subscribers. I truly appreciate your continued support. Thank you guys. Okay, let's start. Creating a color theme can sometimes be tedious, especially if you're not an artist or have a hard time knowing what color matches with the other colors. So for me, I'd rather use a site that can provide me with beautiful color themes already and there are so many out there. You can even just search them and you'll get all these wonderful suggestions. But for now, we'll use Adobe's color swatches because there are so many options here. I will put the link in the description so you can check it out. It's color.adobe.com and here they have a place where you can create your own but there's this also the explore tab you'll certainly find something here that meets your needs like here you already have a lot of these color themes but here in the search bar you can type whatever keyword or term you want it can be color or type of vibe like retro or summer whatever your current project needs and just type the keywords so let's say for example i want a sunset vibe so i'll just type sunset here and just click on enter and as you can see there's a lot of choices so here you can download any of these or just take a screenshot of the color theme that you like so for example i like this one you could just click on this and i have this bigger size so what i'm gonna do is just screenshot this like so now head on to affinity publisher and then go to file place and then select the color swatch image. You just click anywhere. Once you've had this, click on the eyedropper tool over here. And here in swatches tab, go ahead and then click on any of the colors in this color swatch image. You have it here. Now click on this one. This add current fill to palette. Just click on that and then click on another color. It will change over here and then just click this one again and so on. So I'm just going to do this like this. So once you've done adding all of the colors, you can now use them. So let me show you. I'll just put this one aside. So for this, I want this color and like this. So just click on the element first and then click on the colors. So whatever color you want. So well, there you have it. That's how easy it is to make a color palette in Affinity Publisher. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and inspiring. I would love to hear what you think in a comment below and please don't forget to smash that subscribe button now if you haven't done that already. Like and share this also on social media. Keep watching and keep learning and I'll see you next time. Bye!